Hello and welcome to our Fetch Wallet tutorial series. In this video, I will walk you through setting up an automation utilizing FetchBot, your AI agent assistant built directly into the wallet, as well as I can show you all of the different options that you currently have for automations, as well as other commands. To get started, make sure you have your Fetch Wallet open and signed in. Then, you're going to click on the Chat section. And then once that loads, slide over to the Agents tab. Here, if you haven't actually opened this section previously, you'll likely be receiving an introductory message. But, what you can do once you're ready to get going, is click on Talk to an Agent. And now, we can see that we've opened up a chat with FetchBot. If you do ever wish to view the introductory message with FetchBot again, just click on the Information icon located in the top left, where you can read the details of what agents can do. Now, let's begin looking through the commands and set up an automation. To access the automation dashboard, all you have to do is either select this icon located in the chat bar, or alternatively, you can type a forward slash, which will also bring up the scrollable section that shows you the list of commands. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll now walk you through setting up one of these automations available, but do keep in mind that the process is extremely similar for just about every automation that you do want to set up so it should be pretty easy to follow along. Since it's one of the most popular automations, I'm going to select the Auto Compounding option, which allows us to be able to auto compound our staking rewards. After sending that in, you'll end up receiving a decent amount of messages from FetchBot. You can read through all of these messages if you would like, but all of these messages essentially come out to tell you the process of how the auto compounding will actually function. And here we go, the final message is the greeting message for us to actually begin this process, which says that after what duration would you like your staking rewards to stop auto compounding? Please write amount and a unit. Example. 60 minutes, 12 hours, or 3 days. You can obviously choose between any of these values, such as it could be 15 seconds, or it could end up being 30 days, as that is the maximum duration that you can do this for. I am going to simply select that we want to do this for one day. Then what time interval would you prefer to reinvest your staking rewards automatically to compound interest? Please write the amount and then the unit. Once again, for example, 60 minutes, 12 hours, or 3 days. This one also gives an additional section that tells you that if you select 7 days as your option for how frequently the rewards are compounded, then just once every week, you will simply have your rewards compounded until the session expires. So since we're only compounding for a duration of one day, I would like it to be as frequently as every 45 minutes. And then we send that message in, wait for FetchBot to respond to us. And now they've said, you have stake with the following validators. Enter the address of the validator you would like to auto compound stake with, or type all to auto compound all of your staking rewards. And I am going to type all. You then get a message from FetchBot asking you to make sure that you've checked the parameters that you've pre-selected to make sure that you actually want to continue forward, which I am comfortable with the parameters I've set up, so I will click Sign Transaction. These two messages that you can see here, as FetchBot mentioned earlier on, are to actually grant the allowance for FetchBot to be able to act on your behalf to simply claim the rewards and then stake them back to the validators that you have selected which, as I said, I am okay with that, as I'm intentionally setting this up, and now I will just approve the transaction. And as we can see, the authorization succeeded, and we can actually check this link right here if you ever want to look at the actual transaction details involved in the process. And then we got a message from FetchBot saying, I'll be auto-compounding your staking rewards for one day, which as we know is the duration that I set up. And now that you're all set up and ready to go, your agent will automatically add your staking rewards to your total amount staked on the interval that you requested it to, and when the duration runs out, it will stop. Do also keep in mind that if you do run into an error where the rewards do stop auto-compounding or there are any issues auto-compounding the rewards, you will be notified by FetchBot in this messaging service. So just check in every once in a while to make sure that everything is running as planned 
and otherwise you can always reach out to us and we can try and see if we can help you with the issue. But that pretty much covers it for today's video on how to auto compound as well as how to just use automation features within the Fetch wallet. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions regarding any of the automation functions or anything that you've experienced with automations or even just simply a suggestion, then let us know in the comments down below and we will try and get back to you promptly. Thank you.